What's going on everybody? Welcome back to episode 14 of the Play Review series. I am Clapcheck and today we've got the TOTS special of Moise Keen. If you're looking forward to more TOTS content, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave your recommendations down below of who I should record. So let's roll the tape boys. So here he is standing at six foot, high low work rates, right footed, free star, free star, which isn't too great, but we can work with it. Coming in around 50k, it's Moise Keen. We've stuck a hunter in him. He looks very cool, very interesting. He's not too expensive either. And uh, we're going to be trying him out in a 4 3 1 2 up top with Caputo. And we have a little bit of Pele in camp. So let's see how we get on. So just like the man himself, there's one thing that he can definitely guarantee you, and that is goals. He's a natural striker. He's got the capability to get himself in the correct positions, sneak through players when they're not looking properly, and manage to get himself in a position to score goals, game in, game out. And in most of these goals that you'll see, he's just had the absolute amazing positioning. And even with it, the finishing, the shot power, it was all on point. And with a hunter, you know, it made it even more incredible and even more powerful as well. And actually, surprisingly enough, he scored quite a lot of headers for me as well, which is quite nice and quite rare for players. The only person that I have had actually score headers for me was Giroud. And this guy was absolutely incredible. And it's very obvious why he's so good. His stats with a hunter have 99 positioning, 99 finishing, 95 shot power. Amish 73 shots, that's not great, but this man is going to be your poacher. He's going to be finishing off the scraps. He's going to be finishing off the balls that you're putting into open space. This is your man for that. Especially if you've got Neymar and Mbappe, he's a perfect man to uh, link up with them. And also, he's got 99 volleys and 84 penalties, which is obviously really great. I really enjoyed this guy in front of goal and I knew if I got him in the right position and in the right chance he would score it for me. The only disappointing part about his finishing would be the fact that he's got no traits, he's got no outside foot or finesse trait which is a bit of a pain in the ass. but you know you work around it and he still is an amazing card. So as always what else could make a really good finisher even better and that would be speed. Moiskeen is absolutely fast, he's lightning. But with that, there's always a catch. He's a little bit clunky, and we'll go on to that a bit later. But, you know, with his 99 pace added on by the Hunter, he's very good in getting himself into those positions with his nice finishing and being able to race past players, which is really nice. But, of course, with EA, there's always a catch in their cards. And with this Tots card, it would be his clunkiness. Sometimes he does feel a bit clunky. He doesn't have skill moves either, which does not help. But, you know, apart from that, his stats do look nice in terms of his uh, dribbling, but he just doesn't feel that great as they look in-game. So he's got 87 agility, 91 balance, 85 reactions, 89 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 81 composure. Now, I actually think that it's the composure and his height that lets him down in terms of this card, and that's what makes him feel clunky. But apart from that, he's really nice on the ball. He's really quick, and... Essentially just does the job of a striker where as a in terms of his dribbling So the last thing that came of note with me with this card would be his mediocre passing And when I say mediocre that doesn't mean that he's bad or he's amazing. He's nothing special Nothing perfect, but you know he does get the job done as a striker and many occasions as you can see within some of these clips He's managed to slip a through ball through and even nice short little some short pass into Pele or into Caputo And they've managed to get themselves in goal scoring opportunities So the fact that he can achieve that is great, but you know if you look at his stats He's got 74 vision 73 crossing 66 free kick accuracy 80 short passing 70 long passing and 89 curve They are absolutely atrocious looking stats and I would not even dare to try to play this guy in a camp position or in a position as a false line because I don't think he'd be able to distribute the balls out to the other players. But generally though, it was good enough to fit a role as a singular striker that was just meant to score goals. You know, he, he, I didn't expect much of it, but you know, he did bring back a couple of assists. It wasn't much and he did just put in a shift basically. But apart from that, 
that would be it i really enjoyed this card and let's look at his stats after how many games i played with him on foot champs so at the end of the day we will judge how they contributed to the game by the value that we paid for them and for Moise Keane, after 11 games, he bagged 21 goals and managed to get 5 assists. And for around 50k, I would say that is absolutely disgusting value. It is really good. I really enjoyed this card. And if you have the capabilities to get this guy into your team and don't have the, card, uh, the coins for more amazing cards like Mbappe, then I would definitely recommend this guy. And that's why I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I know I packed him, he was great, and uh, I really enjoyed him. So if you can get him into the team and you'd like to try him, I would definitely recommend it. But if we look out honourable mentions, we can see we got a bit of Caputo, a bit of Payet. I enjoyed both of them. Caputo was a bit of a letdown sometimes in front of goal. Pele was obviously Pele, not much to say about that. Tonali was great and so was Leeds Malou. Uh, Mendy felt a little bit out of position as a right back, but hey-ho. Centre-backs, Varane and Mangala were great and Dallo felt like he was way past his game cycle position. <laughs> but apart from that, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your recommendations down in the comments and goodbye.